All right, Shalom, Shalom to the elect of Yashallah. It's your brother Pawari. You're coming back at you with another quick lesson from Great Millstone Des Moines. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to all you Akims out there that's pushing his word in truth, sincerity, always, and charity. As you can see, the title is uh, Choose Your Watchmen Wisely. All right, because you got a lot of a lot of uh, false leaders and false teachers that's out there that's just saying all kinds of wayward doctrines, man. So it's important that we choose our watchmen wisely. Here it is. You got lately someone talking about just don't wait on the Lord and live your life. Anybody that says something like that, man, is outside of Yahweh Shai's body. All right, the Lord is not dealing with nobody like that, man, because the scriptures clearly say to wait upon the Lord, man, and he's going to bring his vengeance. He's going to do all these things, man. It, you can't put it in your own power to 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 overcome this devil, to become free, to receive salvation on your own. That's all going to come through Yahweh Shai when he comes. So, yes, we do have to wait upon the Lord, man. Now, of course, we live our lives accordingly. We still have to pay bills. We still have to, you know, do the things that we have to do to sustain here in this wicked ass life. But we're going to continue to wait upon the Lord, man. All right. So I'll just start off with uh, Lamentations 3 and 25. It says the Lord is good unto them that wait for him. To the soul that seeketh him. So it's we got a good thing coming unto us, man. Because we're going to um, wait upon the Lord, man. We're going to constantly keep seeking the Lord. All right? And he's on his way, man. So that's what we're going to keep our, our eyes on. Keep our single eyes on, on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. And nothing of the things of this world is going to distract us or or, or keep uh, uh take our eyes off of the off the prize all right uh verse 26 it says it is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the lord so we're gonna a hey, hope and continue to hope and quietly wait for our salvation to come through the lord man and and that and so we're not gonna bear arms and go against this devil you know what I'm saying? We're not going to take the matters into our own hands. We're going to constantly believe and hope and have faith and wait on the Lord to come and do all these things, man. That's what the scripture says. So that's what we must do. All right. Uh, let's get a scripture in Sirach. So it's a lot of people that's, that's leading the flock to the slaughterhouse, man. Leading the sheep to the slaughterhouse. Yeah, you, you know, so that's why you have to choose your watchmen wisely, man. You got people that they depend on CNN. They depend on, you know, these news. They depend on Al Sharpton or the president or uh, shit, Ice Cube. All these different so-called leaders that people put they they hope in thinking that they're going to make a change man but the lord has set up his watchmen the true watchmen to 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 tell the people and warn the people of the things that's going to come and not sugar coat coating it and water it down and and you know what i'm saying and speaking unto to the people smooth things man All right the lord is going to set up watchmen that's going to tell you the truth nothing but the truth all right, it ain't gonna water it down for nobody. This is Sirach 36 and 14. It says, uh, For Zion with time unspeakable, Sirach, it says, Yeah, verse 13, it says. No, 14, it says, Fill Zion with thy unspeakable oracles and thy people with thy glory. 
give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. Reward them that wait for thee and let thy prophets be found faithful. So the Lord is going to set up prophets that go out there and warn the people and, and warn the people, man. And the Lord is coming back for those that are, that's going to remain faithful. The scripture says that shall he find faith on earth when he come? That's who he's coming back for, man. All right. And then that's when you, hey, that, what's that thing? It's Ezekiel 36 and 36. Then you shall know that there's a prophet, that there was a prophet amongst you. All right. You're going to know in that day and that time, man, that it, that the Lord, it, that there was prophets out there telling you these things was going to come to pass, man. But y'all didn't take heed. You know, a lot of people like to choose people uh, according, you know, you know, choose their pastor or, or so to speak, based on their lifestyle, based on how they want to live. You know what I'm saying? You know, they want to smoke weed. So they follow out the uh, someone that, that says it's OK to smoke weed or, uh, you know, these different things. But it ain't about our lifestyle and how we want to live, man. It's about how the Lord want us to live. All right, it's not about us. Uh, I think that was Ezekiel thirty-six. See, if, yeah, let's see if that's Ezekiel. Well, so like, you ain't got. It. Yeah, I believe it's Ezekiel thirty-six and thirty-six. Yeah, so like it's Ezekiel 33 and 33. So let's just read it. It says, and when this come to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been amongst them. All right. So when these things really start hitting the fan, man, and happening, which they are already. But when it really truly manifests itself, y'all going to know then that it was a prophet set up if, um, before you. To take heed of these things, man. All right, sitting there, hey, and 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 in these last days, man, hey, Yahweh Shai said to himself that it's gonna be many false prophets that that shall rise up, and shall deceive many. You can read that in Matthew's twenty four and eleven, man. So this Yahweh Shai knew that it was gonna be days like that. He he like this, and he warned us of these things to come, man. And we're living in them latter days. Where these things are happening, man. All right. And First Timothy four and one says, in these latter times, uh, some shall de depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. That's that's what's happening, man. In these latter days, man. Deep people is departing from the truth and from the and, and from the faith. All right. Uh. Yeah, and, and these people, man, they, they don't want to hear the truth, man. All right? They're being led, like it tells you in Matthews 15 and 13, uh, that the blind shall lead the blind, and they both shall fall into a ditch. So if you're following after these people that says, don't don't wait upon the Lord, uh, you can have sex on the Sabbath, you can do this and do that, doing all these things that's contrary to the Lord's word, you're going to fall in a ditch right along with these people, man. All right? Plain and simple, man. These people do not want to hear the truth. They want to live their lives according to their flesh. And the Lord is going to destroy them, man. Plain and simple. This is Isaiah 30 and 10. It says, Which say to the seers, See not. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto, un, unto us right things. See, so these people don't want to hear the right things, man. They don't want to hear the truth. 
It says, speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceits. See, they want to hear the smooth things. They want to hear lies. You know what I'm saying? That this place going to continue on. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the pursuit of happiness in this place, you know, all this stuff is crumbling right before our face, man. And these people love to hear these lies thinking instead of uh, putting their hope and expectation in the Lord, they putting their hope and expectation in this devil, man, waiting on them to give them a stimulus check or a raise or um, to make things better, man, in this place. Hey, but we're going to continue to trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, because he's about to come and perform many miracles in this place, man. All right, so we're going to constantly a hey, trust in the Lord and, and wait on the Lord. All right. Uh, just like if you, you know, waiting at a bus stop. Here it is. You waiting at a bus stop, man, and your bus come, but it's going to in a uh, going a bus come and it's not the bus you waiting on. It's going to a whole nother different destination. You're not about to get on that bus, man, because it's not going to the destination that you want to go to man and it's the same with us man we're gonna wait on the lord to come man we're not waiting for this devil to to give us this and give us that man all right here it is they're gonna trying to you got people telling you to go ahead and take this yabba dabba do and it's gonna be a lot of y'all that yabba dabbly do it and take it man all right so hey man you got to choose your watchman. If there's somebody telling you that it's okay to, to, to take the, the yabba dabba do man, or the, the MOTB, man, stay the hell away from them, man. Shouldn't be following out the people that's, that's telling you to do things that is contrary to the Lord. That, uh, man, that, that just shows you don't fear, you, you don't fear the Lord. You fear man. You, you're trying to do the things that is pleasing unto man, and that's going to lead you to destruction. All right? And shit, you, and you got people that just listen to all these different camps because they, they in it for entertainment. You know what I'm saying? So they got, they listen to this camp, that camp, this camp, and now they're confused and don't have no stable foundation. So they just all over the place, man. Man. Scary thing, man. Uh, let's get Second Peter's. Let's read Second Peter's two, and we'll start off with uh, verse one. It says. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them. <laughs> man, we living in them, th in them days right now, man. Got people denying Yahweh Shai. Don't wait on Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? And don't worship Yahweh Shai. All these damnable heresies that's going to lead you to destruction, man. If you believe and follow after these people, man. All right. It says, um, and bring it upon themselves swift destruction. That's what's going to come unto you, man. Swift destruction. You know, uh, following after these false teachers. And many shall follow. Their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And the, and the truth is going to be evil spoken of, man. But it's the truth that's and that's because the truth is what's going to make us free. We're free from this world. We're free from the lies with, that we've been taught all our lives, man. You know what I'm saying? We had to cut them strongholds off our necks. You know what I'm saying? It was strangling us to death. But now the Lord has given us this, this light, this marvelous light to live in, man. So we got to continue to, man, until he return. Continue to wait on the Lord, man. And that's just why it's important, man, that hey, 
that you choose your your watchmen wisely, man. Those that's going to tell you the truth, and 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 it could, because they watch over your soul, it tells you that in Hebrews uh thirteen and seventeen, obey them that have rule over you and submit yourselves unto them, for they watch over for your soul. They watch for your soul, man. Those are people that you should be submitting yourself to, and that don't mean just. You you submitting to anybody and everybody, man, because it tells you in First Timothy five and seventeen that let the elders that rule well be accounted worthy of double honors, man. Let's get that, because those are ones that the ones that's 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 telling you the truth, man. All right, that labor in this, man, that's defending the uh, the the true gospel. That's what you want to have set up. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to have no dumb dog. The scriptures talks about these these pastors, these uh, prophets being like dumb dogs, not able to speak. You know what I'm saying? That they're not telling you, they're not warning you of the things that's about to come. You know what I'm saying? They telling you just go ahead, live your life, enjoy yourself. You know what I'm saying? And this and that, and and that's not the the alarm that we should be sounding right now, man. This is First Timothy five and seventeen. It says, "Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honors, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine." See, it's only one doctrine. That's and that's the truth, man. There's no other. Ain't nobody else out there saying that that they have the one hundred percent truth. But the apostles of Great Millstone, man. Everybody else, you hear them, oh, we got 50% truth. Or oh, we don't nobody have the truth, man. I'm not about to follow out to someone like that, man. You know what I'm saying? You're not about to have somebody fix on your car that's telling you they only know half of what they doing. You know what I'm saying? Or something like that. Nah, so, man, it's a beautiful thing that the Lord is, is making a division and, and a separation uh, of these these false prophets and the true prophets, man. It's a beautiful thing, man. So hey, we have to continue in the things that we what that we was taught and continue them them things, man. And and not let nothing or no one or, or anything um cause you to waver or cause you to go back into the world, man. All right? Hey, so uh uh, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to all you Akims out there that's pushing his word in truth, sincerity, always in charity. Barakatham, Akiyam. We almost out this hellhole. Let's continue to push and endure to the end because we don't have much longer, man. So let's endure. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Lord, allow. His spirit to remain on all of us, man, to endure that he never take his Holy Spirit away from us, man. It's because it, that's the only way we can make it out this hellhole, man. So, hey, Shalom, Maki.